Hold on. It's March 8th. It's very early in the morning. I'm here in Haneda Airport on my way to connect to Osaka. I'm in Japan. I'm by myself. That's fine. I'm going to have a good time. Might send you some video footage and I'll be meeting up with some folks I know later on. I don't know why that's there. Hello and welcome to Friday. I'm at the ENT. I have a little ear pressure, same I've had for a month, and I'm just a tiny bit dizzy. Same I've been for a month, and I'm hoping that by the time I leave here, I will have learned something. Get it clean. Make sure you get it clean. You don't want to leave any part of you dirty. So, um, ENT appointment, uh, went well. Um, the, I, I like the, the guy, he, um, he was very funny and had a very, very dry sense of humor. And I love that. Um, the good news is that, uh, I don't have any sort of infection in my ear and, um, he was moving my head around a little bit and he's like, well, he's like, things aren't super bad. He's like, but there is like something there. And he said, I believe that this will probably resolve itself. He said, you have some inflammation in your ear, but not an infection. And he said, I'm going to give you a steroid. He's like, steroids probably a little controversial because generally you would give this to someone at the onset of symptoms. He's like, but we wouldn't have given you this at the onset of symptoms because you had COVID and we wouldn't have given you a steroid for that. He's like, so now that you're over that and you still have inflammation, he's like, this will, this will probably help you. I said, okay. So I will hopefully go pick that up today and um, see if that helps. Like I am still having some light pressure in the ear and uh, I don't know what is or is not responsible for the the dizziness. And as I was trying to explain it to the doctor, I was like, you know, it's, if vertigo, if, if like the room spinning around you and you grasping onto your chair, I was like, if that's the top, I was like, this is the exact opposite. I was like, it's not nothing, but it's like very, very low level. Like, Hmm. I don't even always know this. It's happening. And, uh, to some degree I I've, I've wondered if it's like it almost gets confused with like a headache, but it's not, it's not quite a, it's not a headache. It's, it is like very, very slight dizziness and uh, a general discomfort or something. So yeah, hopefully that'll help me. I'll get started on that. It, it takes a few days and uh, maybe that'll take away the inflammation. And, you know, he said, I mean, he said, he's like, hopefully by next week, you, you probably be feel be feeling fine. And I was like, okay, well, that's the hope because it sucks. One other thing that's happened is, uh, you know, it's been a bit now since I tested negative and I haven't had any symptoms, but I did have a symptom come back. <coughs> it's a cough. It's um, a very different cough. And I, you might not be able to hear it, but I can feel it. It's um, <laughs> the way I was describing it to Mao. I was like, the cough feels like a tiny dog has a cough. Because half the time when I'm coughing, my mouth's not even opening. It's just like, <clears throat> like, <clears throat> like this really tiny thing that's, that's coming from my, my chest. And uh, that, I mean, it's weird for that to come back. But Mao also said that that happened to her. She's like, yeah, after I got over everything and tested negative. Yeah, I haven't had it in like two days. Well, it finally went away. Yeah, it did. But for a while you had it. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, um, hopefully that doesn't stick around too long. Would be, that that would be ideal. Because uh, I've been feeling pretty well otherwise. I mean, the, the dizziness is unfortunate. But um, having the cough come back sucks. And, you know, knock on... I think that's wood. Uh, knock on wood, I haven't had any of the really 
bad vertigo stuff um, because, you know, while I was sick, there was, I, th I think, two different times where I was grasping onto the chair and the room was spinning. And that wasn't like every day. It really was just like two different times over the course of the three weeks or whatever. But um, having that happen is uh, scary. I started to speculate, and I haven't looked into this at all, but I speculated a little bit after the fact. I wonder if it had anything to do with blood pressure. My blood pressure is not high, it's normal, but um, I'm curious if there, if you're experiencing some level of dizziness and you have uh, a moment or an event of elevated blood pressure, if that can affect the level of dizziness you experience. I don't know. I haven't looked into that, but um, I'm like, I wonder if that could be possibly related. Maybe. I mean, ideally, I'll just keep my blood pressure down in, in general and also uh, slowly get over this stuff and hopefully the meds will help. I'm going to take a little nap and get up with plenty of time to do Zelda tonight. So stream tonight was particularly chaotic in a way that it never has been before. And the reason for that was because Chaz is in Japan and he is on vacation and he is not running alerts. So Mal did alerts. Did the alerts. Mm -hmm. um, and it worked, but also we, we only like kind of half knew yeah. what we were doing. Because mm -hmm. Chaz was like, oh, well, you, you know, you can just leave things on auto. And it's true that you can leave things on auto, but if you leave things on auto the structure of the of the streams that people have like come to know is not the same because then as an alert comes in it just happens on screen and as people know when they watch the streams people will give Chaz like ammo and Chaz will just hold certain alerts until he's ready to you know fire them off so going on auto is not ideal for a friday stream because no. it's it's too crazy and uh, Mal kind of learned that on the fly I did yeah so the beginning of the stream was like a little rocky, but then it was fine. Mm -hmm. You did good. Thank you. You did good. We just, um, Mal just ran everything on the iPad and uh, it, it worked. Um, does it make me really value Chaz? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, in a big way, because it's not, it's not very easy to do. And also you're thinking about, you know, all of that stuff. Particularly hard for Mal because she's also, like, on the couch. <laughs> but we got through it. Anyway, I hope Chaz is having a fun time in he Japan. Is. I've seen some photos. He's, I'm sure he's having a blast. Well, my very long first day has come to an end. I've made it to where I'm staying. Um, it's a hostel that has a kitty cat in it. It's actually got two. Got some food from the grocery store and had a nice welcome beer at the bar they've got here and now I'm off to bed for my very long day bye all right that's it my ear is hopefully going to be fine um doesn't seem like there's really going to be any problems oh there was one thing the ENT said that I didn't mention earlier that I thought was interesting and he said when you have uh, any sort of upper respiratory virus yeah when he said when he said when you have a virus he said, a lot of times the virus tends to attack certain things in different people. He's like, some people, you know, they end up losing their voice. Um, some people have, you know, this, that, or the other. He said, for you, he said, looking in my ear, he's like, your ear is really, I don't know if he said weak or thin or whatever term he used. He's like, if you have problems with like, you know, ear infections and if you get sick, like you feel it in your ear, he's like, that's because... For you, the virus tends to go towards your ear and attack your ear or whatever. And I was like, that's neat. And I haven't like really heard of that or thought of that before, but it would also make sense because a lot of times when, um, you know, if something can bother my ear, it does. 
and it sucks. I really hate it. I haven't had any hearing loss um, with this, and I, you know, fortunately didn't get an infection, but it is, there is still pressure there, and I've, you know, I had wondered if maybe that was affecting some of the dizziness or not. I don't know, but hopefully it'll resolve itself soon, and I will be helping it move along by taking a steroid for the next few days. Fingers crossed. Thanks for watching, and let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?